Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our Cucumber series. Today's topic about uh, how to rerun the failure test cases. Slightly different as compared to TestNG. We don't need to provide any listener or uh, any predefined uh, listener which will keep listening uh, the failure test cases and then we don't need to apply any retry logic for that. Uh, TestNG provide one uh, plugin for that that is called a rerun plugin. So what you just need to do that go to your uh, runner file so let's see this is our parallel run dot java that we have created doesn't matter you are using test ng or uh, j unit they provide one plugin over here so in the plugin section put a comma in double quotes you simply write one plugin that is called rerun plugin and what exactly it does it will generate one rerun dot txt file that you have to generate i mean name can be anything so let's see i want to generate a dot txt file under my target folder it means in this particular target folder you can give any folder name that doesn't matter and then i'm giving let's see my uh, file name is uh, failed rerun dot txt whatever the name you want to give you can give that so i simply write let's see failed rerun dot txt file everything is in a small letter and uh, that's it after that, what exactly it will do, it will generate this particular .txt file. If any scenario is getting failed, it will make an entry of that particular scenario in this .txt file. Then what you have to do, you have to create one more runner file, which will, we have to make the entry of this .txt file in that runner file, and then we have to execute that runner file once again. So that we will do it in some time, but let's execute this uh, runner. And uh, what exactly we will do, we will make one test case uh, deliberately failed. So I'll go to my login page and uh, let's assume that, okay, this is the buy.link text, forgot password 111. So obviously this is a wrong locator. This will be failed. It means one test case will be failed. And if I go to my feature file where a scenario is written at line number eight, this scenario will be failed, right? So, go to your parallel learn.java and uh, execute this particular feature file from this section and let's see this is a runner i mean this a failure.txt file is getting generated or not so run as test ng and uh, let's see so we are already running in the parallel mode three chrome browsers are running in the parallel mode one will be failed so it is almost done very straightforward and done so you can see that okay one test case will be failed in the test ng result also you can see uh, forgot password got failed and in the console also if you see that uh, we have one failure is available here so one fail which is the no such element exception for the forgot password perfect forgot password link is not available now what we have to do we will refresh the project and inside our target folder we will see fail dot txt got generated and now see this file it will give you that inside this particular login feature this is a file colon tag under this particular uh, login dot feature file scenario number eight i mean scenario number scenario which is available at line number eight sorry got failed so let's you can see that at line number eight this particular scenario got failed actually right now what we have to do with the help of this dot txt file we have to create one more runner over here so in the parallel, I'm going to create one more. Uh, I would create a class and then uh, let's see. I simply say that is my failed runner or failed run. Whatever the name you want to give and click on finish. And whatever you have in your parallel run, exactly same cucumber options, I'll be using it. Copy this and you simple uh, paste it over here. Uh, sorry, on top of the class name here. And after that, inside the failed run, what you have to do, you have to um, add those things as well. That is um, override if you really want to execute all the failure test cases in the parallel run, that also you can do that. So that should be like this. And then remove this rerun over here from here. What you just need to do, uh, the plugin pretty and all those things will remain same. Remove this guy in the rerun. Simple write that is. I want to rerun which file my target file uh, fail runner dot txt file and uh, what is the file name the file name is once again we have to tell 
where exactly the failed runner is available. The failed runner is available under target folder. So you have to write at the rate target. So do not forget to write at the rate target. And then you simple write this particular file name once again dot txt. Right. And uh, then we have to extend for the parallel run if you really want to extend this abstract test in gqcumber test also you remember we use that we have to use that as well and import this particular okay then error is gone um, like this now let's see this in failed run.txt we have one failure at line number eight only that failure it means the forgot password link should be executed once again so what i'm Okay, that is a failed rerun actually guys we have to give Sorry about that. Let's run it again and let's see Now see it's picking the scenario forgot password awesome and then again it will be failed obviously because it's not fixed and Then again getting failed. So this is how we can execute the failure test cases But as such we don't have any retry counter that how many times we want to execute again and again Now let's do one thing <clears throat> now deliberately. I'll make a couple of other test cases failed. Let's see submit login when you click on the login button that is also getting failed So it means two test cases should be failed. It means uh, When you click on the login button This particular step will be failed It means the scenario also will be failed and the forgot password also will be failed So line number 8 and line number 13 these two scenarios should be entered in this particular failed rerun.txt file So first you execute this guy and uh, let's see what happens so out of three test cases two test cases will be failed so they are running in the parallel mode that's fine so done and you go to your failed run.txt can you see that scenario num which is available at line number eight and line number 12 both got failed see this that is what exactly i told you right eight and 12 both got failed if this is also getting failed it will make an entry three eight twelve like this and then you run your failed run.txt once again and uh, simple rerun it so second time also it will be failed because we haven't fixed it so you can see that only two test cases are running forgot password and the second one is the uh, uh, the second one is the second one is the login one you can see the result over here uh, login with the credentials and a forgot password they both got failed so what is the advantage of this the advantage is that let's see by mistake any any network issue or i mean some problem is there on application is not serving properly or or there is a glitch in the application that element could not be found or something like this by chance if any scenario is getting failed that will make an entry inside this particular txt file and then you can execute this txt file once again just like in testng we have this uh, failed uh, testng.xml file and then we can rerun it similar kind of stuff uh, mechanism they are also using it so with the help of this uh, rerun plugin guys you can do that so it's pretty simple so when you integrate with let's see some ci cd pipeline what you do the the next upgrade uh, upstream pipeline upstream job in the pipeline you can create for the failed run.txt this failed run.java file you can execute that which is having failed run.txt so first Execute this uh, parallel run.java. It will generate this .txt and then execute this failed run.java, which will execute the failure test cases once again in your CACD pipeline with the help of Jenkins. You can do that. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. This is how we can do that. There are some other third-party solutions also that I don't want to cover. I'm not sure how uh, reliable they are, but this is a feature which is available in test uh, in Cucumber directly. So that's what we can use. That remember this rerun plugin you have to use that for failure test cases execution so that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs